Yeah. My name is Seku Sangari, and I'm 5'6". Marcella said you uh, just came back from Amsterdam. Sure did. How you did a pilot? That was my 15 minutes. What was it? It was a show about a team of female secret agents called Fox Force 5. What? <laughs> Fox Force 5. Fox as we're the bunch of foxy chicks. Force as we were forced to be recognized in five because there was one, two, three, four, five. There was a blonde one, Somerset O'Neill from that show Baton Rouge. She was the leader. Japanese one, black one, French one, brunette one. We all had special skills. Somerset had a photographic memory. Japanese fox was a kung fu master. Black girl was a demolition expert. And the French fox specialty was sex. What was your specialty? Knives. The character I played, Raven McCoy, her background was she was raised by circus performers. So she grew up doing a knife act. Now, according to the show, she was the deadliest woman in the world with a knife. But because she grew up in the circus, she was also a, somewhat of an acrobat. She could do illusions. She was a trapeze artist. And when you're keeping the world safe from evil, you never know when being a trapeze artist might come in handy. And she knew a zillion old jokes because her grandfather was an old vaudevillian. He taught her. He, we, now, if we had gotten picked up, they would have worked in a gimmick where every episode I would have told them all jokes. Do you remember any of the jokes? Well, I got a chance to say one because we only did one show. Tell me. No. It's really corny. Oh, come on. Don't be that way. Oh, no. You won't like it and I'll be embarrassed. You told in front of 50 million people and you can't tell it to me? I promise I won't laugh. That's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> I didn't mean it that way. You are quite the silver-tongued devil, you know that? I meant I wouldn't laugh at you. That's not what you said, Vince. Well, I'm not definitely not going to tell it now, because it's been built up too much. What a jip. A sip of that? I'd like to know what a five dollar shake tastes like. Be my guest. You can use the straw, I don't have cooties. Yeah, but maybe I do. Cooties! I can handle. God damn. That's a pretty fucking good milkshake. <laughs> I told you. Uh, I don't know if it's worth five dollars, but it's pretty fucking good. Mm -hmm. Don't you hate that? What? Uncomfortable silences. Why do we feel it's necessary to yak about bullshit? in order to be comfortable. I don't know. That's when you know you found somebody special, when you can just shut the fuck up for a minute and comfortably share silence. I don't know if we're there yet, but don't feel bad. We just met each other. I'm gonna tell you what. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and powder my nose, and while you sit here, I want you to think of something to say. Yeah, I'll do that. 